So we're here at the Lenovo and who are you? My name is Chris Francica. I'm with Motorola Product Marketing. Here with a brand new member of our Motorola One family, the new Motorola One Zoom. So this is a nice big display, right? Yes, it's 6.4 inch full HD OLED display. We've stretched it further to the top and the bottom of the device. Only a small waterfall notch, at, what, I'm sorry, teardrop notch at the top as a cutout for the 25 megapixel front facing camera. And the, on the back? On the back, for the first time ever, we've got a quad camera set up, one of the most advanced camera systems ever on a Motorola device. The main sensor is a 48 megapixel camera with quad pixel technology that actually bins them down so you get 12 megapixel output with huge 1.6 micron pixel size. You get really amazing low light photography. There's OIS on this camera. There's additional three other lenses including a depth sensor, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with OIS, and a 16 megapixel 117 degree field of view ultra wide angle lens. So no matter what the situation, you've got a camera with you to take the perfect shot. Can you take a, a depth uh, portrait camera of me? Yeah, certainly. Let's try. So you guys, that's do, a nice bokeh? Let's do it right now. Yeah, the depth sensor gets really accurate portrait mode bokeh. So let's do it right now. I got one second. There we go. So, so is this using uh, optical depth sensing or is it um, computational? Uh, it's 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 both actually. So the the depth sensor itself captures a depth map, which is fed into our software algorithms that they use for creating a portrait mode photo. So it it, it focuses exactly on me, and then the rest is out of focus a little bit. That's correct. Yep. So it has like a face detect, something like that. Protecting the face? Uh, I don't know the, the full answer, right. but we can get you that. Uh, so, this is not, is this a portable? What's the CPU in here? And I can see the logo is lighting up. Yeah, it's running a Snapdragon 675 processor. This is a really unique feature only on this device. Our iconic Motorola logo actually lights up using an LED. And when you're getting a call or a text, the light will change. It'll, it'll blink or it'll flash or do something to let you know that there's a notification. And uh, uh, it's got a Type C. Type C. Sorry. Oh yeah, US, I'm sorry. USB-C adapter also includes a headset jack for convenient wired headphone listening. Nice. Uh, so, what's the version of Android? It's going to get Android 10 or? So it's running uh, with Android 9 out of the box. It will be upgraded to Android 10 as well. It comes with our full suite of Moto experiences that we layer on top of pretty much stock Android. So you get things like uh, the chop for flashlight and the twist for camera. I can show you that right now. So if you just chop it, you can turn on the flashlight, chop again to turn it off. You can also twist your wrist like this to instantly access the camera, twist it again, and it'll reverse the camera to give you a selfie. Nice. Is there a risk that you might trigger the flash or the camera in your pocket if you're running? Uh, no, when it's when it's twisting, no. It's really only sensitive to the wrist twist. They've calibrated it really closely for that. Nice. And the price is affordable. Yes, very affordable. Starting at 429 euros, Motorola One Zoom will be available in a variety of countries in Europe, Latin America, and the United States coming in the next couple of weeks. So uh, how, do you, how do you access all these different modes? Yeah, so it's a simple swipe to the left to get all of our different camera modes, portrait mode, cutout mode, spot color, our brand new night vision feature, which gets you really amazing photos of Can low light. Can night sure, and test it out? Let's come over here. <laughs> so night vision actually uses frame stacking methodology. It takes eight different frames at different exposure levels and puts them together. The result is a really rich photograph. You bring a lot more details out of the dark. So let's try this right now. So you can see inside here is a really dark scene. I'll take one picture first with the regular camera and you can see the baseline there. Even with the, the regular camera, it takes a pretty decent photo because of that quad pixel technology, 48 megapixel sensor. So you can see there, a little bit of graininess in the photo. So let's go back and let's switch to night vision and try this again and you can see what the difference is. So when I tap the button, it'll tell you to hold still as it's taking multiple photos at once, combining them into one. Then it runs the processing 
and let's uh, find out. So here you can see much brighter photo. If you go back and forth, you get much more details. You can't even see this black building in the first one. It really fades away. But with night vision, you get a lot more clear photos, a lot more detail. Yeah, you can it's see very dark even in when there, you right? zoom in. It's extremely dark in there. There's just one small dim light at the top uh, to provide a little bit of ambient light. And so, and then if you go back to the camera, the different modes are also... Yeah, so in addition to night vision, of course you have portrait mode, cutout mode, which actually cuts out the background and lets you replace it with another scene. Spot color lets you choose one color to keep in color and turn the rest of the photo to black and white. Can you cut out the background for me? Absolutely. I'm get a little closer to you. Hold on, sorry. Give me one second. Okay. I think it's maybe my light. It might be the lighting. Okay, okay let me try again. So it can detect me? So there we go. Oh, it did it. Yeah. It, the lighting is a little weird, so it cut a little bit out. That's so okay. let's then, add a different background here. And there, so we can transport you in the Bahamas, yeah. Cool. There you go. It depends what's in background. It's better to take the picture with a fixed background, right? It's better with a fixed background. It's also better with more light, so it helps the camera cut around the edges. Nice. And this is uh, for Europe, USA? Yeah, so it'll be available in a variety of countries in Europe, Latin America, and the United States.